What's up guys, this is Jason with Stinky Pants Fishing. Talk to you guys today about uh, our stringers. So this is our 12 foot, this is our eight foot. So when you receive your stringer, it's gonna come coiled up, okay? This is a good size to, to keep it coiled up, but you're gonna notice that it's got a, a loop over it, okay? So the first thing to know is that our floats come off. They're designed to, all right? Makes it a quick release. So. When you're out fishing, you get your, your fish on the stringer. At the end of the day, what you do is you pick up your fish, throw them in the cooler, pop this out here, and then they just slide right off. So releasing your fish into the cooler, onto the cleaning table, wherever you're gonna get rid of them, couldn't be easier. To put that back on, it goes straight back in. So it goes from underneath, goes in over the top, and then back into itself, okay? And that tension right there, if you pull on that, that locks it in. When you look at this, you're getting almost two inches into there. So if you've ever got issues where this is slipping, that's the first thing you're gonna wanna check is to make sure it's getting fully inserted in there. Sometimes you get stuff in there, uh, whatever it binds up, but you wanna make sure it's getting fully uh, inserted in there. And I would check that before each trip, okay? So just make sure it's in all the way, it's tight, string your fish and you should have no issues with that. And again, this is the 12 foot. So what you can notice on this is there's nothing special on the end. This is stainless uh, wire, so it's not gonna rust or corrode. If you would want a shorter stringer than 12 foot, you can cut this, okay? And it'll still slide into here and do everything you want it to do. The only thing you can't do is make it longer. So if you want an 11 foot six stringer, if you want a 10 foot stringer, you can buy the 12 and cut it down to whatever you want, okay? On the eight foot stringer, Obviously that's gonna come shorter, but it's also gonna have a smaller size float on there, okay? And so that gives you a little bit different options. Uh, it's great for kayaking, you have less resistance. I like it personally because when I'm carrying this on my, on my belt and stuff like that, it's less bulky. Uh, it's easier on the fish, they can pull that down if they wanna go under water, if it's hot, the fish wanna be cooler, they can pull that down and there's less strain on there. Does the same thing to me, the point of this float is to keep that fish from coming off the end. Something else you're gonna notice though on the eight is that that wire will go all the way through. It does the same thing, it locks it in there, but a different thing that you can do without having to cut it is you can actually shorten that stringer up if you'd like without having to cut it. So if you would want a shorter stringer for the day, maybe a six foot, and you don't wanna lose your eight foot length, you can easily shorten that up like that. And again, same deal, pull the, pull the float and you can drop them right off in there.